Hello friends, welcome to Dudier Academy. In this video, I will be discussing pulse, which is the second vital sign. Also, you can watch the other videos already uploaded regarding the vital sign temperature. Subscribe the channel and press the bell button to get the notifications. So first, let us discuss the definition of pulse. It is the wave of blood created by the contraction of the left ventricle of the heart. It is the wave of blood created by contraction of left ventricle of the heart. Or you can say it is the alternate expansion and recoil of an artery as the force of blood is forced through it during the contraction of left ventricle. There are two types of pulse. First is the peripheral pulse and second is the epical pulse. Peripheral pulse is the pulse located away from the heart, example foot, wrist or neck. And epical pulse is the central pulse that is located at the apex of the heart. Or it can be referred to as the point of maximal impulse, PMI, point of maximal impulse. The normal heart rate of an adult is 60 to 100 beats per minute. So the normal heart rate of an adult is, of an average adult is 60 to 100 beats per minute. Next is the physiology of pulse. SA node emits the electrical impulses through the heart muscle and it stimulates the contraction of the heart. So SA node is emitting the electrical impulse through the heart muscle and it stimulates the contraction of the heart. Every time the ventricles contract, a volume of blood is pumped into the arterial system, dilating the walls of aorta and arteries. So, as the ventricles are contracting, a volume of blood is pumped into the arterial system, dilating the walls of aorta and arteries. So, as the ventricles of the heart contract, ventricle of the heart contract, approximately 60 to 70 ml of blood is ejected into the aorta and that is known as stroke volume that create a pulse wave that travels rapidly towards the distal end of the arteries and when the pulse wave reaches a peripheral artery you can feel it by palpating the artery so the number of pulsing sensation that is occurring in one minute is called pulse rate the number of pulsing sensation that occurs in one minute is known as the pulse rate and the volume of blood pumped by the heart into the arteries during one minute is cardiac output the volume of blood pumped by the heart into the arteries during one minute is called as cardiac output so cardiac output is the product of heart rate and stroke volume when an adult is resting the heart pumps about 5 liters of blood each minute so the cardiac output is 5 liter per minute so that is regarding the physiology of pulse next is the factors affecting the pulse rate there are a lot of factors that affect the pulse rate and the first is the age as age increases the pulse rate gradually decreases so here also we can see in newborn the average pulse, pulse rate is 130 beats per minute and for an average adult it reaches to 60 to 100 the normal or uh, uh, range is 60 to 100 beats per minute or approximately we can say 80 beats per minute. So as the age is increasing the pulse rate is getting gradually decreased. Then the other factor is gender. After puberty, average male's pulse rate is slightly lower than the females. Exercise. The pulse rate normally increases with activity. Stress and emotions. Because of extreme emotions like happiness, the sympathetic nervous system gets stimulated and it releases the hormones and norepinephrine that leads to increased heart rate. In case of depression, the in, it influences the cardio inhibitory centers and it releases the acetylcholine and that leads to decreased pulse rate. 
In case of fever, the pulse rate increases in response to the lowered blood pressure that results from peripheral vasodilation associated with elevated body temperature. Medications. Some medications decreases the pulse rate but some other increases the rate. Sedatives, digitalis preparations and all decreases the heart rate and epinephrine increases the heart rate. Hypovolemia. Loss of blood from the vascular system normally increases the pulse rate. Position changes. When the person is sitting or standing, blood pools in the lower extremity. This pooling decreases the venous return to the heart and so the BP decreases and heart rate increases. Pathology. Certain diseases and some heart diseases can impair the oxygenation and can affect the pulse rate. So these are the factors that is affecting the pulse. Next is the characteristics of pulse. There are mainly five characteristics of pulse that is first one is the rate, rhythm, strength, equality and elasticity. So let us discuss each characteristic in detail. First is rate. It is the number of times the heart contract in one minute. The number of times the heart contract in one minute is called rate. There are mainly two variations in rate. First is the tachycardia and bradycardia. Tachycardia is the excessively fast heart rate that is mainly over 100 beats per minute in an adult. And bradycardia is the heart rate in an adult is less than 60 beats per minute that is excessively slow heart rate so rate is the number of times the heart contract in one minute and it is having two variations that is tachycardia and bradycardia tachycardia is above 100 beats per minute and bradycardia is less than 60 beats per minute next is rhythm it is the regularity of beats rhythm is known as regularity of beats or it is the pace of heart with which it contracts that is regular interval between each heartbeat we can say the regular if it is regular interval between each heartbeat then it is known as a normal rhythm so if the heart, heart contracts with same pace or interval it is called as normal rhythm Irregular heart action leaves an irregular heartbeat and that indicates an abnormal rhythm. So the phenomena is called as arrhythmias. So that is the second characteristic that is rhythm. Third one is strength or volume or amplitude or quality. It is the force of blood with each heartbeat. It reflects the volume of blood ejected against the arterial valve with each heart contraction that is known as the strength or amplitude or volume that is the force of blood with each heartbeat. Next is equality. Equality means the number of times the pulse felt in two sides. Number of times the pulse felt in two sides is known as equality. Sometimes the pulse in one extremity may be absent in case of thrombus formation and all. So, for checking the equality, all symmetrical, symmetrical pulse can be assessed in the same time. But never palpate the carotid pulse at the same time. Never palpate the carotid pulse at the same time because excessive pressure may obstruct blood flow to the brain. So equality is the number of times the pulse felt in two sides. And the last char characteristic is elasticity. Elasticity means the expandability or contractility of the arterial walls. Expandability or contractility of the arterial walls. Normally, arteries are straight, smooth, soft and elastic but as the age is increasing there will be loss of elasticity of the arteries. There will be decreased elasticity of the 
arteries. So these are the important characteristics of pulse that is the rate, rhythm, strength, equality and elasticity. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Also like, comment and subscribe the channel and share to your friends.